Hi guys. Unvacuum review. Okay, I'm um, going to be reviewing a beer from the Brains Brewery. Um, I haven't done a beer from there in a while. Um, pretty good brewery, uh, based in Wales. Uh, they do one of my, yeah, I suppose it is really, one of my fave session stouts, which is their Brains Original Stout. Just such a nice, easy drinking stout. I really, really like it. Um, also, their SA Gold is a really decent pint. But they've recently sort of uh, started going into the craft uh, beer side of things with the Barry Island IPA and also a couple of others they've done. Uh, this is one that I've picked up from my local Tesco and it's called Boiler Maker, which uh, comes in at 6.5%. percent i will give you a bit of info on it. It does say Welsh Whiskey IPA. Boiler Maker is a copper coloured IPA brewed with Ben and Tom from Thinking Drinkers. Brewed with Chinook, Simcoe, Cascade and Willamette hops and matured with Penderin whiskey infused oak chips in casks from the distillery. Uh, the arts of distillation, of distillation and brewing combine to create an epic Welsh IPA adorned with a fragrant citrus aroma, a touch of spice, a hint of vanilla and a warm whiskey finish. Okay, so 6.5%, let's give it a go, see what it's like. Okay, so uh, pour wise, yeah, definitely right about that. I believe this is gonna be a filtered beer. I don't believe their beers are bottle conditioned. Yeah, there you go. Right, so yeah, nice copper color, slightly off white head, looking nice and consistent. Yeah, it looks all right in the glass, nice and pretty. Let's give it a nose. Uh, a bit unsure about whiskey beers. Ever since I had the Saints one, I'm a little bit sort of trepid, intrepid. You know, if it's a whiskey aged stout or something like that, then it's fine. But you know, with the light beers, I, get a little, I always get a little bit worried. <laughs> Let's give it a nose. Okay, on the nose, it just smells a bit malty. Yeah, you're getting a bit of brown bread, a bit of raisin. Slight touch of a uh, orange, really, really faint sort of orange peel, but nothing much more than that. It just smells like a like a sort of average sort of cask malty beer. Um, just give it a go. Sometimes the nose is obviously different to the taste. So, cheers, guys. It just tastes like a malty beer. Um, you just hit with that sweet malt straight away on the tongue. It's not over the top or sweaty. Um, sometimes malty beers can be a bit too sweaty or a bit too ground, you know, sort of ground the earthy sort of tasting, which really puts me off. It's a nice, clean malt. Um, not overly sweet, but like a nice, sweet, sort of subtle malt, which uh, hits the tongue. It doesn't taste like an, uh, a six point. Is it 6.5? Or is it 6.4? I don't know, I put my glasses on. Um, it doesn't taste over 6% anyway. It tastes like a 4%, a 4.5% uh, ale. Uh, you know, there's nothing sort of standout-ish about it. It doesn't, if someone said to, you, to me that was a whiskey IPA, no, it isn't, it isn't a whiskey IPA. I can't taste any whiskey or anything like that. All I taste is a nice, Multi beer, um, not overly, uh, not over the top. There's a nice bitterness at the end, um, not huge, but you know, a very comfortable bitterness which sort of curls up the back ends of the tongue. But, but um, let me see if I can get a little bit more. No, other than that malt. There's a nice sort of citric um, undertone, you're getting a bit of lemon. And like that orange peel I mentioned before, but other than that, it's a sweet malt and a bit of bitterness at the end. So, it's slightly disappointing really. Um, 
Personally, I think Brain should just stick to doing their uh, session beers because they're pretty good at it. You know, they don't need to sort of, you know, go into this sort of area because, I mean, the Barry Island IPA, that was that was alright. That was a nice beer. I think I reviewed that with Terry Kay. I had it on cask at the festival, but unfortunately I got a bad pint, but in the bottle it was alright. It didn't taste like an IPA, but then again, I'm, I usually expect it to taste like American IPAs. This doesn't taste like an IPA at all. It doesn't taste like an English IPA. It doesn't taste like a Barry Island IPA. And it doesn't taste like an American IPA. It just tastes like a malty beer. Um, very well balanced. Nice and sweet. With a nice uh, little bitterness at the end. But, you know, if I was to rate it just as a as a beer, I'd give it a... Mm, what would I give that? As a beer, I'll give it a seven because it's malty without putting me off, which is quite an achievement. And you do not taste the ABV whatsoever. So it's pretty well crafted in that respect. In regards to a whiskey IPA, nah. There's nothing on there is nothing in this beer that tells you that, you know, even hints at it being a whiskey IPA. So So there you have it really. Thanks very much for watching. If you're seeing this even more, give it a go, see what you think, but no, it's not a whiskey IPA. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Cheers.